shit, we're alive. Oh. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. This is the professional show, episode one. We got we got a lot of things to go through. I'm your host, as per usual, yours truly, Pabs. Uh, we we got a lot of big news going on today. Um, first off, I, I want to say. Oh, I should ask do who he be ready. It's it's been an honor. Today is a business casual day at the studio. How awesome is that? <laughs> you you gotta worry about a suit or a tie or anything like that. Uh, I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like we need a day off. You know, after after the disaster that was last week, I feel like uh, now we're off to a, a, a good start with all this. You're making it worse. Let's talk about the voice work. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints from from all you people that uh, I sounded a bit too whiny. So I, I just thought, why not just amp it up a little more? Uh, just just you know, ram 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 my head into it. Sh shut up! I'm listening to them. We got news. Uh, PS5 reservations for pre-orders. Wow. Uh, exclusive interview with uh, Shining Hearts. Uh, some guy by the goes goes by the name of uh, Alberto. I think, I think I've heard that name before, but I can't be certain. And uh, we've also got a special correspondent report from one of our most diverse uh, employees here. He, he's a really great asset to our company, and I feel very grateful that he has a special report to report us in on. Uh, we've also got the RTX 3000 series. Uh, uh, initially, this was going to be a leak report, but now we're we're live with it. It, it happened. It's here. It's coming! Look, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna announce it right here live. All right, our working relationship with iLego is is now over. It's done. Canceled. He 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 didn't go follow through with his words. So now he's not on the show. And lastly, we've got a extended gameplay segment of what I don't know, but we will just have to wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, all right, let's get to the big stuff. First up on the news, we've got um, P PS5 the pre orders, they're, they're a thing, I guess, right? So, uh, as of recent, we've got the uh, Series X and PlayStation 5, uh, the pre orders are, are up for their releases, but uh, funny thing is, is that nobody knows the prices for them. Uh, Sony has decided to take up the mantle and they decided to uh, set up some reservations instead. But not reservations like the way you're thinking. Uh, we're talking about like hotel reservations. Yeah, like you have to call them up and you gotta be like, Hey, I want a PS5, but I'm not so sure if I can get one. Can, can you put me on a list? And they'll be like, sure thing, buddy, but you gotta you gotta represent our brand. I've got the scoop right here from uh, my PlayStation, no, PlayStation blog. Now, first up, we got uh, who will be selected to receive an invitation. Our selection is based on previous interest and PlayStation activities. That's pretty vague. Uh, if I receive an invitation, am I guaranteed to be able to pre-order a PS5 console? No. Each invitation is open for a limited time, and quantities are limited per PSN ID per transaction. Look, at the end of the day, guys, I gotta tell you this must. This is a very big scheme, and it's all in it to brainwash even more people to become ps5 fanboys sony fanboys look in the next few months they're gonna start pumping out the good stuff all the content on all avenues right here on twitch over there on twitter right here beneath my belt in youtube uh i got a new video out check it out they're gonna be pumping out content for people to suck into and uh i'm pretty sure they're thinking about collabing with belt delphine don't don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure they're gonna start promoting the the PS5 branded flashlights. They're gonna start working a partnership with TikTok to spam funny videos of low class poverty boyfriends bothering their girlfriends to buy them a PS5 in exchange for that. They'll eat their ass or some shit. They're trying to shove down seventy dollar price tags down every fanboy's throat, and in the end, uh, deny or reject uh, probably about 90, 95 percent of the people who sign up for the reservations. It's smart. I think that. That's the way I think our company should be going through. You know, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. U.S. only. We don't need those lower tier countries on this. Anyway, um, 
What do we got next? Oh! Oh, oh shit. Uh, <clears throat> I can't get his fucking voice down. I've, I've been trying the past couple weeks. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, brother. Ooh, yeah, brother. Ooh, ooh yeah. Ooh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit, we're back already. Hi! <coughs> we're back on the business casual episode of uh, the professional show. Uh, your host, Pabs, right here. Hi. Um, we got a live interview with, uh, some guy. What's his name? Oh, 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 the Shining Hearts. Yeah, yeah, I know those guys. Yeah. Yeah, I've done, I've done a couple things with them, right? Yeah, we've, we've done a couple things with them, right? Oh? Oh, you're part of them. Oh, my producer's part of Shining Hearts. Who would have thought that he'd be a double agent or something like that, huh? Wow, crazy stuff. Uh, in the meantime, I should let you guys know that today is business casual day and uh, we've got all the great stuff for being nice and business and casual at the same time. We got my cereal Ow! here. I got my cereal Look! here. And I've also got my, my milk. Oh. So, whenever you guys want to sit down and have a chit chat and, you know, cereal on your business casual day. Uh, at work, you you just let me know. I'll show up. I, I I need to make sure what's wrong with this guy. What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, this music's pissing me off. Hello. Am I here? Hello. Hello. Yes. Is that you? Who is that? Yes. You sound like Mr. Roboto, but like he took a couple of donuts and stuffed it down his throat. You're cutting into your interview time. We don't got a lot of time left. You're just gonna have to go straight into your your, your gotcha game addiction. Yes! Oh wait, oh that's him! <laughs> that cat. It's not, shining, it's not shining hearts, Paolo. It's bird from the shining hearts. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Uh, How you doing? I'm all right. Thanks you for having me. All right. That, that's cool. So uh, t tell me about yourself. Uh, gotcha game addict? No, I'm not a gotcha game addict, Paolo. More like a content creator somewhat. I'm Can you sit up a little bit more straight? No problem. I'm not. Oh, my God. Can, can you sit up a little more straight? Yeah, better? Can you sit more straight? Hello? I don't see you on uh, No, 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 no. That's not the pro that's not the problem. It's not the point. Um so tell me tell me about what kind of content you, you, you decided to make. Hmm? Well, it's brand new, I guess. I just made it like not too long ago, like earlier this month, I guess. Like last month. I forgot when honestly. But yeah, I just recently made it because it was should have been done a long time ago. Now it's my fault. But now it's there. And yeah, I make uh for now I'm making random videos, mostly Monster Hunter and um Fall Guys. Oh hey, I know that game. Yeah. I know that game. That one. Fall Guys, I mean Fall Guys just recently came out like not too long ago and I told Miguel sure. my partner. Mm -hmm. To play it, it's a pretty fun game, honestly. Like I have fun. We have some stupid moments. Miguel grabs me all the time. I grab him, choke him. I'm known as the Strangler already. I have a title. How, how hard do you grab each other? Um, like I don't know. Like, I grab his neck, strangle him. How hard do you strangle him? Pretty hard, I would say. Really. So we're in here for the real good stuff. So uh, talk to me about your your gotcha game addiction. Tell me about where it started. I guess I want to say it was around 2016, 2015. Uh -huh. I was going to school for graphic design, and there was one time I was on my phone, like watching through YouTube, and there was nothing to do. I'm like, I'm not looking what to find in my phone. I found this game called Brave Frontier. 
it was literally a, one of my first gacha games I got into. Like the, that game was one of the easier ones because there's nothing. I didn't spend money on it. Sorry. Um, it was probably one of my favorite games that I got into. Wasn't hard, but at the same time, it got a little difficult as I progressed. Then I eventually dropped that game because it got boring. I think the next one I played was. Continue. I really, remember. I really don't remember, but it was like around um, like 2017. I want to say 2017, 2018. Eventually, I got into Fake Grand Order. It was the one I'm playing more now, and that's where things went downhill for me. I started wasting money, paying for stuff for things I want. It was it was a wreck. I don't care. Was I, that I before or after the pillows? Wait, what? Uh, okay. Um, yeah, like I spent money. I spent like I don't want to tell you the amount, but a lot. It was kind of messing up my bank account sometimes. But I learned to stop. But then I come back into it. And it just became an addiction. I mean, I, I don't mind it. I just know how to, I just have to learn how to control myself, which I've really been learning how to do somewhat. The other game I've played, a game called Epic Seven. It's what game I recently just got into like two years ago. It, that game is probably the more harder ones I play because huh. there's more complicated BS and all equipment and all that. It's whatever. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. My gotcha game addiction was really because of all the waifus, all the cool character designs, all the story. I wanted to get into it more, especially Fate. Fate was the game I played more for the story. Yeah. Tommy, who's your favorite waifu? Wait, are you eating cereal right now? Who's your favorite waifu? Um, let's see. My favorite waifu, I guess... There's a character called Kiyohime. She's this green-haired, um, green-haired dragon girl, I guess you could say. She wears a kimono. She's all, like, cutesy and all that. Really that. And, I mean, I have more, but I would just mention one for today. Oh. Uh. Okay, well, um, I appreciate talking to you. Um, I really got a better understanding of how, um, all this stuff works. With uh, the gotcha and the gaming and the uh, addict addicting. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Okay, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for um, uh, uh, Shining Hearts. Bird. <laughs> yeah, him. The, the gotcha game addict. Give it up for him. Wow, what, 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 what a... What an interesting guy, huh? That guy, he does a lot of stuff, but not enough stuff to keep me engaged. You're here. You're live. You get when you hit what? Uh, you're right there. Check this Oh, okay. All right. Well, we can cut you off. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. I guess she's just having an off day today. Um, uh, at least I'm not. I'm doing okay. That was weird. Uh, let's talk about those uh, those uh, graphics cards, huh? Uh, so initially we were reporting on leaks and reports of uh, some of these newest uh, graphics cards are RTX 3000 uh, I think some dudes from tech radar they had the scoop, but now we don't got just the scoop. We got the whole meal, baby Yeah, we got Specs we have prices. We have release dates so anyway Um Look um, I feel like it's important to let you guys know the specs, okay? So, uh, here we've got, uh, RTX, uh, 3090, and it's priced at, wow, that's, that, that'd be a nice budget to have, uh, $1,500. Would you look at that, these nerds, they're paying for all this shit, and I'm here, 
eating cereal. Uh, I'm eating cereal and I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, the uh, RTX 3080. Uh, it comes out on the 17th. DDR6X. Why do they have to add the X at the end? It makes no sense. Just keep calling it GDDR7 or 8 or 22. Look, man. I gotta tell you this much. This shit's too nerdy for me. Alright, if you guys are out there buying, trying to keep up with all this stuff, uh, I don't really applaud you. I just kind of call you a nerd. Because uh, it doesn't really matter in the end. As long as I get to play my uh, Super Mario 64. Sh shut up. Uh, before I get to play my uh, Super Mario 64 ROM hacks on my um, on my Windows 96. Uh, that was a joke. That I don't use a Windows 96. Those things are too old for me. Um, I, I'm not a, I'm not a self-described the boomer, but I, I can definitely get the job done if you need me in the shed. Uh, I don't know what I meant by that. Okay. Um. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be right back, okay? Don't, please don't, don't go anywhere, all right? Look, I, I need you guys here really badly. Because if you're not here, then it's gonna be a big disaster if, if you're not here, okay? Thank mm -hmm. you.